Fan Corrections, this is a segment where viewers try to find mistakes on our show. Now, so far, millions of challengers, not one winner. We've, I mean, I don't, I don't know of any other show in the world that challenges people to find an error. Mm -hmm. We have, no one can find a flaw in our show. I know. Because it's flawless. It's flawless. It's a flawless pro, <laughs> no, it really is. <laughs> Perfection, yeah. every night. Day in, day out. That's well, right. tonight, two fans named Ben and Nick think they caught a mistake. They say it happened during a recent comedy bit. Hey, Conan. This is Nick. What's up? So we were watching Conan the other day, and uh, you were doing a bit about celebrity income breakdown, and you made a joke about Kylie Jenner. 26% of her money comes from tweeting photos of lips. 26% comes from tweeting photos of butt. 48% compound interest from small cap mutual fund investments. Wow. Yeah. Very wise Good investor. On you, Kylie. Yeah. Didn't see that one coming, did ya? We gave you the old slipperoo. Ooh. Did you say slipperoo? I think you said slipperoo. I think you meant switcheroo. I think you meant switcheroo. The old switcheroo! The old switcheroo! The old switcheroo! I think we got you, Conan. Yep. Let's see you try and get out of this one. And don't give us the old switcheroo. You suck! <laughs> He's right there. I do suck. <laughs> well, sorry, Ben, and sorry, Nick, but you're both dead wrong. I did mean to say old slipperoo. Please let me explain. I said that 48% of Kylie Jenner's income comes from compound interest from small cap mutual fund investment. But let's dig a little deeper, shall we? According to Charles Schwab's Guide to Financial Independence, there are several different types of mutual funds. Money market funds, fixed income funds, equity funds, et cetera. But we're talking small cap here. And let's be clear about that, small cap. According to the street, the Aberdeen small cap A, with an overall rating of A plus and a risk rate of B minus is about as good as you're gonna get right now. Okay, but what does that have to do with the old slipperoo? Andy, I am so glad you asked. <laughs> According to Merrill Lynch and every other financial institution on Wall Street, what are small cap mutual funds commonly called? They're called the old slipperoo! Yes! That's what they're called! The old slipperoo, yes. And, and that's what they've been called for over 100 years. Take it away, filmmaker Ken Burns. In 1882, Marcus Goldman joined forces with son-in-law Samuel Sachs to form the investment banking firm of Goldman Sachs. Sam Sachs was an eccentric man known for a peculiar personal habit. He always wore bedroom slippers to work. A few years later, the two men clashed over the issue of small cap mutual funds. In the heat of the moment, Sam Sachs removed one of his slippers and threw it at his old partner. Sadly, Goldman died. In those days, there was nothing you could do for any injuries whatsoever. But from that day forward, the small cap mutual fund became known as the old slipperoo. As for Ben and Nick, who have been proven to be fools, let us just say you suck. Yeah. Well, history, it's never wrong. The challenge still stands. If you think you spotted an error on our show, report it at teamcoco.com slash ha ha, I found an error. We'll sort it out right here on the air. Let's see if you've got what it takes to make chump meat out of the maestro. We'll be right back.